Okay. Today we will start chapter 6.4. Uh, the name of the chapter is Maximum Likelihood Estimation. Maximum Likelihood Estimation. So, three words there. Three words for three basic concepts. Let me know when you can see the screen. I hope you can. Hmm? Is the screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. Okay. Here you can see this is chapter six and four. The title of the chapter is Maximum Likelihood Estimation. Actually, we have to estimate some parameters of the distributions what we have solved. Like, uh, I want to show you. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, if we consider the exponential distribution, what is the exponential distribution? F x is 1 by theta, theta over minus x by theta. Right? Where x between 0 to infinity, theta also 0 to infinity. Okay, we've said uh, theta is the mean. What is theta? Uh, I need your contact. What is theta here? Mean. Theta is the mean. But uh, how? We justify that this is this is actually mean. To do, to justify the parameters, uh, what we have said, this is called the maximum likelihood estimation. Like this, okay, we say today is the mean. Another distribution we have, uh, we have geometric distribution. Uh, in geometric distribution, fx is. Uh, P to the uh, P to the P P to the power x minus one P right so P can be written as one by P x minus one P here we said the mean is one by P right you understand. Mahmoud. <coughs> yes, sir. Okay, we have said the mean for exponential distribution is theta, the mean for geometric distribution is 1 by p. But we haven't justified yet. Now, is it really true? Is it really true? This is the justification. It's called a maximum likelihood estimation. You can see there are three words. How many words? Three words. Words. Number one is maximum. Likelihood estimation. First one, we'll try to like likelihood that is matched. Actually, what match with theta? Okay, we'll justify which one match with theta, and we'll try we'll find the maximum one, the maximum value of the function for which we can get the maximum matching estimation. That is by sampling. তাহলে আমরা এমন ভাবে এটা ক্যালকুলেট করব যাতে এটা কি হয় থিটাটার জন্য আমরা ফাংশনের ম্যাক্সিমাম ভ্যালু পাই থিটাটা এমন ভাবে ম্যাচ করবে যাতে আমরা কি পাবো ফাংশনের ম্যাক্সিমাম ভ্যালু পাবো অর্থাৎ ম্যাক্সিমাম সবচেয়ে বেশি যেটা ম্যাচ করবে থিটার সাথে সেটাকে আমরা ক্যালকুলেট করব এবং সেটা কিভাবে করব ইউজিং দ্য এস্টিমেশন এস্টিমেশন ম্যাসিং দ্যাট ইজ ইউজিং দ্য স্যাম্পল দ্যাট ইজ উইল কালেক্ট সাম স্যাম্পলস এন্ড দেন Analyzing the samples, we'll try to find which value matched the best with theta. Okay. Similarly here, which value matched the best with P. So to do this, we'll collect uh, n independent trials. How many trials? 
n independent trials. Maybe for n independent trials, you can find n samples. How many samples? N samples. N samples. And from those n samples, from each, we'll, try, we'll find one input. Capital X is the sample and a small x is the input. Okay. So for each sample, from each sample, we'll co collect one input. Then the function x1, x2 up to xn used to estimate theta, not only theta, sometimes we will find to, we will want to find uh, p, sometimes we will want to find mu, sigma, many things. The statistic is this, is this a function for the samples and this is the function for input. Then we will design a likelihood function. We'll design a what? Likelihood function is called L. What is function? What is likelihood function? What is the likelihood function? L. L. L is the likelihood function. L is designed for if the parameter is theta, then theta. If parameter is p, then p. Say theta is the parameter. How we can find this? This will be the, this is the product. This is the product sign. Product of the, that uh, function f of xi theta, xi theta, or xi's are the, those imports, x1, x2, xn. So i equal to what? 1 to n. i equal to what? 1, 2, 3. One to n. So we are saying the likelihood function, the product of those functional values. If you put the input, you will get the functional value. Here uh, xi are the input and theta is the required estimator. Theta amra kuje bed korbo. Theta amra ki korbo? Se bed korbo. How we can get theta? We'll use the differential calculus to find the maximum value. First, we'll differentiate dl theta with respect to theta. This is the first derivative. And we'll consider this equal to 0. Then we'll find some critical values, right? x equal to some theta equal to, say, some variable estimate. Theta equal to, say, theta estimate. Then we'll do the second derivative. d theta square we'll find this is negative for this value we know if first derivative is zero and second derivative is negative then it gives the maximum value jana ase ta if the first derivative is zero and second derivative negative then it will give us maximum value maximum value if we can confirm we get a maximum value for this, then this is the required estimated value. Then this is called theta h. Clear? This is the rule. We'll go through for this uh, in this way. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, you can see, if you consider this function, there are very um, tough situation. So, differentiating them and calculating them is so tough, right? It's always tough. So, what we should do? What we should do? Can use the log function. You can use the what? Hello? Uh, 
Are you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I am asking everything for many times. Then you are answering. Why? Anyway, I'll try to answer quickly. Since there are so many factors, it's not easy to calculate. That's why we'll use the log function. But why we are using log function? Say, any function have very high value. Then, its logarithmic function, say its log function, will have the same pattern but in minimized way. Same pattern but in That is, if this fx, log fx like this. Okay, do you understand? Yes, sir. But you can see it will give you the maximum point, maximum value at the same point, right? This is the target point, right? That is a pattern slightly uh, the pattern, uh, the function is going down whereas the properties remain same property ekoi thakbe property change hobe no sir property will remain same the maximum the minimum the end and the starting points will be same but the facility is that if you use the log function the push the factors like if you take a uh, log of uh, a x b y c z you can easily write it x log a plus y log b plus z log c now this is mm, so easy to in differentiate right differentiate this is tough but differentiate this is very easy right g sir that's why we will take the log function with so we will not work with L theta. We will work with log L theta or long L theta, anyone. Then our calculation will be simplified, but we'll get the same value what we need. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now the the book has a problem. That is the maths are done in very scattered form. You can see that is scattered form. There is no a sequence maintained. That's why I have created a PDF of this chapter. Here I have tried to make everything in a sequence. So I will follow this sheet lecture sheet for this chapter, not the book. You can get this in LMS. Have you found? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Download it. I'm going to take a look at the pasta math. I'm going to take a look at the pasta math. This is the preliminary concept given in the book. So there is no number of example or exercise here. Just I have written the question. Find the maximum likelihood estimator for the Bernoulli distribution. What is Bernoulli distribution? Bernoulli distribution actually binomial distribution with single trial. Binomial distribution with what? Single trial. Single trial. That is here NC NCX is one. Now this is the function. You can see there is the parameter P. The parameter also P, right? So, what is actually P? We have to find. I'm not going to tell you what P is actually P. It is some other guys. So, what is it? Let's go. We are considering a likelihood function. Let us consider we should write here the likelihood function. But if you write L, that's enough. 
this is likelihood function lp l for likelihood function p for the estimate of what you need the product of the given function you can see uh, xi that means uh, i number of entries there i equal to 1 to n total n number of entries this uh, if we take the sum this is actually this function pxi 1 minus pxi now sum if we product uh, the power will be sum right px1 px2 up to pxn the, they will be sum right we have sum of xi do you understand hello yes sir that's why we have written this is once again 1 minus p of uh, 1 minus xi up to uh, 1 minus p 1 minus xi xn you can see how many one there n times one right two one is two three one is three four one is four so n one is n minus once again sum of xi up to sum of sum of x1 to sum of xn is sum of xi do you understand yes, this summation is the main problem in this chapter if you miss the summation sign then it will be problematic then as i said we will take a log function to solve this what will take log function look at this then this factor and this factor will be separated Do you factor separate yes sir separated and the power will come as the coefficient you can see the power then ln p the power then ln 1 minus p right okay now differentiate it uh, here you have to be careful about one thing on here p is the variable so x are uh, everything other than p will be constant and p the variable that is of p like of kihabe hello come on right peter variable peter like of kihabe like you constant sir like you constant so here uh, sum of xi and minus sum of xi all are constant just ln b 1 by p here ln 1 by p uh, this is 1 minus p but for minus there is another minus 1 so this is right you understand then uh, you know for the first derivative for the critical value for maximum or minimum the first derivative always zero so it should be zero right for the maximum or minimum the critical values will be for the critical values first derivative will be zero it's always true the first derivative will be zero then this is zero then you have to do the simplification uh, here simplification is done we get p equal to what sum of xi by n p equal to what sum of xi by n sum of xi by n then the second derivative once again we have to the, to, the, to the second derivative so, sum of x by uh, p it will be minus sum of x by p square here uh, if we differentiate this uh, two minus will appear one minus for negative power one minus for this so sign will be same but minus one by p square you can see right then finally uh, you can put p equal to this and definitely this is negative it's always true so you not needed to do this it's always true 
It's set up like in a way such that it's always uh, LP will be the maximum for this estimation. So it is by default negative. You have to just write it. Don't uh, don't need to show. It has, uh, just go lay hobby. Take a second of the canal of the good. What's the show? So this is the estimated value. This is what? Estimated value. Estimated value. Now one you can see these are sum of xi that is total input divided by total number. So this is the average, right? This is the average. So we have found for the Bernoulli distribution, actually P is the average. What is P? Now, second one. Example start from here. Find the maximum likely estimator for the exponential distribution. These are the conditions. Once again, we are doing the same. Uh, likelihood estimator for theta. This is sum of uh, the product of this. So that's one by theta divided minus x i by theta. Once again, you can see if we take one by theta, one by theta up to n times 1 by theta. So it will what? OK. So that's all. Then it were minus x by theta, say uh, x1 by ignore the minus sign, uh, x1 by theta into x2 by theta uh, power will be summed plus xn by theta. So, what will we get? The numerator denominator remains same by xi. Do you understand? Mr. Batso. Hello. Oh. Okay. Then we will take the log function. Here, this is a negative power, so minus n log theta, ln theta minus e ln cancel minus x by theta. Do the differentiation for the first time minus n by theta plus uh, negative sign, negative power, so minus n plus sum of x by theta square. Then for uh, the critical point, the first derivative have, has to be taken as 0. So we have this is taken and finally this is theta. Do the second derivative and say for this it is negative. So it is the estimated value. Okay. Is it clear?
बोझा जाए So let us go to the next. Now look at this. This is example two in your book. Okay. What this? This is for geometric distribution. Uh, f x p is p or into one minus p to the power x minus one, or x between zero to infinity and zero uh, p between zero to one. You can see here um, l p that is a likelihood function i equal to one to n f of x i p. So this is the function. Uh, so n times p is the product p to the power n. And this is as usual previous sum of x i minus n. Then for the logarithmic function, if we take the log, that the first part power will be coefficient n on p, and then plus sum of x i minus n log one minus p. Then we can write. If we differentiate this, then this is the form. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Then we have to do we have to take first derivative as zero, right? For the maximum likelihood estimation, first derivative should be zero. Okay. So if you take the first derivative zero, what will happen? I think you can find. Look at this. If the first derivative is zero, this is equal to zero, and after a calculation, you will get here p equal to n by some x i. You can see. The previous one, it was x i sum of x i by n, but now here what? n by sum of x i. There is a passive difference. Can you? Difference such a nature? Is it clear? कथा बोले ना क्या ना कथा बोले क्लास बुझा होगी कोरे सर अभी बार बार ऐसा ही कथा बोलते हैं अपन नीजेरी खराब करते हैं थोड़ा जोर सिचुएशन देखो 
So this is seen as uh, p equal to n by sum of x i. So to the second derivative of this function. Actually, all of them are same rule. So I am going going through. Uh, we can show for this. This is negative. Now we know x bar equal to uh, sum of x i by n. So if we take this, this is actually reciprocal. So this is one by x bar. So this is the estimated value. That's it. Next, this is the toughest one. The Maclev uh, likelihood estimate for the normal distribution. Let's see this formula. Now, what I can do is that I will see. So, you can take the formula. So, you can take the formula. Theta 1 to the 2. Not clear. Uh, so the formula upper term is f of x theta 1 theta 2 equal to 1 by mm -hmm. this is the normal distribution uh, the formula for normal distribution Oops. the formula for what normal distribution normal distribution uh here you can see there are two parameters one for theta 1 and the for theta 2 one for theta 1 yes. and another for theta, theta 2 theta 2 then actually theta 1 and theta 2 are the two variables for normal distribution uh, actually theta 1 will be the mean and theta 2 will be the variance but uh, is it really true we will justify you have to justify this the gas leaky type it amadeki got away it amadeki justify got away it actually is a boy so, we have to check the first one. First, we have to construct a function which is called a likelihood function. And if you construct it, likelihood function. Okay. If you construct a likelihood function, we we'll find uh, here two variables uh, L uh, theta 1 theta 2 here. So this is a product. You can see this is uh, 1 by twice by theta 2 is a negative power minus half. And this is sum of xi minus theta 1 whole square by 2 theta 2. Now, uh, since minus half, if you take minus half, and sir. yes, sir, I mean, what's it? Tika dita jabo. Tafli coming to leave me the body. What's your name? Nusrat Jahan Nishi. That your ID with the reason? Uh, sir, uh, 0311 Our vaccine nita jachi. I ask you to write in the chat box. Okay, sir. Okay, so this is. So you can see this power is half. If you put minus half n times, it will be minus n by 2. And that is the sum here given here. Now, uh, if you take the loan, you can see uh, this is minus n by 2 loan this and loan a cancel minus this. But you can see there are two factors. How many factors there? 2 pi is the constant and theta 2 is the variable. 2 pi is the constant and theta 2 is what? Variable. Variable. Since 2 pi is the constant and theta 2 is the variable, so we have to uh, separate them. In case of ln, ln a, b, that is ln a plus ln b, right? Ln a, a, b means what? Ln a plus ln b. Ln a plus ln b. Then uh, we can write a uh, ln 2 pi plus ln 2 theta. But you can see a minus sign before uh, this. So minus sign will be distributed. Minus sign will be? Distributed. Distributed. Well, and go. Now, then uh, we have to differentiate them. Which is first theta one, then theta two. Okay, we are doing the differentiation. First theta one, then with 
theta two. Look at this. Uh, if we differentiate theta one, there is no theta one. So these two parts are uh, by default zero. Then we have to differentiate this. We we'll get two sum of x i minus theta one by two theta two. But before theta one, there is a minus sign, right? So two to cancel. Uh, minus minus plus. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Uh, then what can we find? Then uh, we take the first derivative is zero. Then this is uh, so theta two with, with zero, which is zero. Some x i. If uh, there is no square, square tag bena. So we correction go to the go. So x i minus theta one. Mm, then sum of x i minus. Uh, if we to put this sum, that is sum of theta one and n times theta one. Then n theta one is this. So theta one equal to x i by n. Then you can do the second derivative. You can do the second derivative. If you, you can see, see there is only theta one. If you differentiate this, x i is will be zero. So minus theta. If you differentiate with theta one, it will be minus one. So this is the second derivative minus one. N times one is equal to n, right? And this is always negative. So there is the estimated value. And in case of uh, normal distribution, we call it mu. डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो देर मिओ दें उट The theta one, the value of theta one in the original function to do the rest of the calculations. Now, for the calculation, Java just know. Okay, keep keep going. But theta one, take an input. Did you give me? Yes. Yes. So it's always always true. I'm not taking take an input. Did you give me? Okay. So we are importing here. You can see now ln l theta two is taken as this is the mu. Then differentiate this for uh, theta two here, uh, theta two. You can see once again this part will vanish. This is minus n by two ln theta two. So n by two theta ln theta two is this. Once again we differentiate this. So there is negative power. So minus two this. Take this as zero. We we'll get theta two is this. This is called the variance. We will start this in statistics part. You see this. This is called the variance. Then the second derivative, and we will say this for this value. This all this true. This is negative. So this is the value for theta two. So both the theta one and theta two, we got them. Okay. And the theta one, theta two, do you get paid? Yes. Paid? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One question, sir. आरेक्टर में तक ना बाकी अच्छा है, अमित तो पढ़ाई जाओ। देखना हो, सर पढ़ जाते हैं देखो। Then we'll go to the final distribution. Uh, this is the norm uh, Poisson distribution. Can you remember the Poisson distribution?
Okay. This is the Poisson distribution. Uh, very similar. And uh, this is XS3. This is not an example XS. Find the maximum likely estimator for the Poisson distribution. This. Let's try to understand this. See this. Mr. Watson. Here is one minus lambda x over uh, lambda over xi. Uh, if we product them n times lambda, n times lambda. So this is minus n lambda and sum of xi. And that is the lower part that is complicated function. So we have just keep this because we'll uh, differentiate with respect to lambda. So this part is constant. So we are taking this equal to k. Has no Im impact in calculation. Uh, if you take the long function, then e long cancel minus n lambda plus here uh, sum of we can write this sum of xi uh, long, long lambda then minus long k. If you differentiate this, this is constant constant function, so it is automatically zero. Just here minus n sum of xi by lambda. Then we can take the this is equal to zero after calculation lambda is sum of xi by n. Similarly, the second derivative can be shown negative, then this is the estimated value. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So this is the end of this chapter. I think there is no problem. So we have covered everything. So we have covered everything. So we have If no problem, I want to close this chapter.
जी सर निकनादन ओके अह सो विद दिस चैप्टर 6 इज ओवर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्लेअर द क्लास टेस्ट द क्लास टेस्ट विल बी हेल्ड ऑन नॉट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास बिकॉज़ यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस सो सेकंड नेक्स्ट क्लास अह मे बी देयर इज द नेक्स्ट क्लास इज सैटरडे राइट जी सर and then the next class uh, monday there is a makeup class right makeup class as sir tobe amader ei diner ki na eta thik definitely for this day definitely for this day okay so the makeup class uh, the might be no 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 not 20 this is 7th uh, september oh, sorry 13th 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 september ओके नो प्रॉब्लम दिस इज द 16th क्लास राइट अच्छा 16th नंबर क्लास ना कि जस्ट आवर नेक्स्ट सेकंड क्लास द क्लास टू विल बी हेल्ड क्लियर सेकंड क्लास सेकंड क्लास दे दें ओके ओके द सिलेबस आई डोंट वांट टू कीप दिस चैप्टर इन इन क्लास टेस्ट सो द सिलेबस विल बी थ्री चैप्टर्स 3.2, 3.3 and 6.3. How many chapters? Three. Three chapters. Because all the maths of this chapter uh, has been done by me, so it's ridiculous to give the same math once again in a, in class test. So I am leaving this. I'm not willing to do. And. i'm going to start the chapter 7 but chapter 7 and 8 in your book these chapters are not clear at all so i have constructed uh, some lecture sheets uh, to follow them i think uh, you got you got them in both in my group also in lms how many people downloaded them is there anyone here kara download korechhe তাহলে খুঁজে পাওয়া যাচ্ছে না ওকে ডাউনলোড না করলে ডাউনলোড করে দিবা সমস্যা নাই এটা এমন না যে ডাউনলোড করা যাবে না করা যাবে সো হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ইন্টারভাল এস্টিমেশন বিফোর দ্য স্টার্টিং দ্য চ্যাপ্টার আই ওয়ান্ট টু সে সামথিং দেন আই উইল স্টার্ট দ্য ক্যালকুলেশন uh sir interval estimation of file ta download kore nibo sir both interval estimation and, and test of hypothesis ji sir okay what is the interval estimation that is the basic concept we want to know what is the interval estimation okay now i think all of you are used to sh shopping right bada korecho tumra yes sir okay as you are used to do the shopping you know uh, some prices of products tomader onek product er dam jano tai na dam jano na yes sir okay so in one day you went to the market and see the price of the rice can you tell me what is the price of the rice anyone No one. Uh, okay, chalo dhanke ho jana na. Hmm? Is there anyone who used to shopping? Sir, bazaar khoros na ki sir, mane ki jama ka bol sir. Ni ke bazaar khoros kuchh jai sir. I have told the. Uh, Price, price of the rice, rice. Tell us them. Don't tell me, sir. Yes, sir. Jani, sir. Tell me the price of the rice. So, barely for the list, sir. Start with the start. Maybe, but uh, please tell tell me uh, the rate of the rice. Is rice. Uh, is it is it one hundred? 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 Is it one hundred?
52 okay nice 52 but uh, if anyone uh, don't actually very familiar to you if you say 52 taka is the price of the rice it will be confusing because it, uh, he or she don't know what kind of rice you used to used to eat right yes sir yes. so it will be sometime problematic so what should we do here what should we do here we, we can do one thing that is we can ask you to find we can ask you uh what's risk factors you can consider that is we can uh, use to find an interval right okay so we can use to find an interval right not exactly the rice price but the interval of the rice price फर्टीफाइव or we have to 65 that is the range like uh i can ask another student um, asif are you there yes sir you are using a mobile if you don't mind can you tell me the price of the mobile so 20 thousand 20 very close to me my one is 22 oh. okay so use is 20 minus 22 uh, what about say uh, take some data from some people uh, like Chadjad, what's the price of your mobile can you tell me sir mine yes uh, so 15k 15 okay what about James? 20. 20. 20. So we got many prices. 20, 15, 25. Then we can consider uh, some ranges. Say 15 to 25 is the uh, usual people using. Upur diga as a flagship organ raisha ba na zai. Niche diga wana ga dukin hazar taka set wa se ulam raisha ba na zai. So you can consider the usual people used of mobile phones 15 to 25 but how can we can generate this interval right that is the main factor of today's class what do you say? 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 yes sir that is the case what will you study today मध्य होते the same as the column so to find this interval we must to take some samples say there are n samples how many samples n samples how many samples n samples n samples good there are n samples then there will be say from the samples we get the average lifetime or average price is x bar average price or average lifetime is what x bar then we can find also the variance sigma square the kiwa calculate korte amra next semester statistics part ekta tokhon dekhbo eta kiwa calculate korte hoy thik ache ekhon eta amra pressure nichhi na so this is our price this is the variance sigma square from this you can find the sigma 
but though we are collecting the information sometime there may be some risk because amra je bolechi ekhane modhe kichu kichu bhul thakte pare okay say you are buying the set when this is in very high price hoyto kono karon lockdown ba others kono problem cholchilo amar shonge tumi set kinecho tale price khub beshi porbe na porbe kina yes sir yes sir so there will be uh, some sort of errors okay also say you are buying set by other way unofficial then the price will be very low right that is if this is the price curve for price normal curve there will be very less price very high price there may be some risk this may happen for say you are taking the mobiles from outside of the country without giving any vet this may be very high because you are taking the mobile when it is in very starting point so the price will be very high right do you understand what's the other yes sir in this situation the price price will be uh, uh, in risk that is to me jeta bolche bhul thakte pare the risk is called alpha alpha is the probability of risk this cause significance is called what is called significance then there are two types of risk there are how many types two types two types of risk one for very less value there is a that is for very high value this position in the standard normal distribution this is zero value so this is minus z alpha by 2 this is z alpha by 2 okay then we'll find We'll use this interval to find the zero alpha by two. Use this interval to find the zero alpha by two. So there are the risk. This is the feasible region, right? One minus alpha. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you make some mistake, that's the matter. So a interval is score. Amra usually. So x bar is the average of the sample and mu is the average for the whole data set that is the population this is the target we will find the population this is the target but initially we will take uh, z alpha by 2 less than equal z to find z alpha by 2 less than equal z alpha by 2 equal to 1 minus alpha i will show in the lecture sheet how we can find this using this we will find z alpha by 2 then will find the interval for the total population using this usually we know z equal to what x minus mu by sigma right x minus mu by what sigma sigma okay but in case of the sample this is x bar sample mean and this is the sigma by n this is for n is number of samples then we'll put this to find this the, the required interval uh, after simplification you'll get the interval is this what you can write this in this form x bar minus z alpha by 2 sigma by root n less than equal mu less than equal x bar plus z alpha by 2 sigma by root n do you understand for the sigma of delta it was similar so okay now i will show with an example this also given or uh what we actually introduced, what we are, we have said here, everything is given here, okay? And why we are, want to find them also given. We have to read this. Then how we can find z alpha y two? That is the system is given minus z alpha y two less than equal z less than equal z alpha y two one minus alpha. And we know this can be written. This can be written as two phi z alpha y two minus one. We have shown in chapter three point three is equal to one minus alpha after the calculation this. Then put the value of alpha. 
put the value of alpha and solving, you will find the normal table del over by 2. Do you understand? Normal table take you to the barba. Get a bit of a banana. G, sir. Okay. Then this is what I have written this line by line. Now let us see one example from this. One example is ready for you. Look at this. Let x equal to the amount of food in pound per day. Look at this. There are two. There are two units are given. Food in pound and time in day. Food in pound and time in day. Day. Consumed by a student. Suppose that the variance is one point two one. To estimate the mean mu of x, which is the target, and as you see, took a random sample of thousand people. So n is thousand. N is what? Thousand. And uh, the total consumed is total is is total four thousand two hundred pound food per day. Find the approximate ninety five percent confidence. Alpha is called significance. Significance that means risk, and its complement. Means it has a risk nine. Confidence is 1 minus alpha. 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 Significance is 1 minus alpha. Confidence is 1 minus alpha. 1 minus alpha. Okay. So, confidence is 1 minus alpha is given. Look at this. Sample size 1000. Mean consumption is what? We need the mean. 400 to 4200 by 1000 is 4.2 variance is given 1.21 so oh there needs some correction variance is given what 1.21 so what is the standard deviation standard deviation is 1.1 right what is standard deviation 1.1 1.1 then we have to go the confidence is 0.95 significance is 0.05 then we know how we can find it you know from formula if we put alpha is there so 1.975 and from the table you get the probability of 1.96 is 0.975 Then put this in interval. You can find this. This is the straightforward calculation. Just you have to collect uh, the information, then put here to find z alpha two, and then the information here you can find the interval. Now you can ask me why we are using those. The question is, why are we using those? Why are we using those? Why are we using those? The reason behind this actually to make the profit profit margin maximum. It will profit to profit each other related. So we can just take about the statistical ground shall be cash other related. Profit margin. Kashate? Profit margin. Profit margin is shop is related. Uh, always the people used to make their profit maximum. The profit maximum to do this, they used to do this kind of of practice like in this case what we found 90 pachi bolo to minimum koto maximum koto ekhane what is the minimum what is the maximum so 4.132 minimum that is, if you give the student uh, less than 4.1232 pound the uh, the student will not be satisfied. She's not satisfied. How about now? When the now, problem that he Definitely, the student will not pay. The student pay could be now. Could be. Hmm. 
খাবার খাবে এর জন্য সে তোমাকে পে করছে ঠিক আছে সে কি তোমাকে বাড়তি টাকা দিবে খাবারটা <laughs> If you give bit more, he will dist uh, destroy it, right? Yes, so, sir. we must to do some program, basically not calculated, using our brain to make the, give the food to the child. Every mother do the programming by her own. What the market is going to do? Right? দেখবা মা এমন ভাবে খাবার দেয় তোমার একটু কম কম লাগবে না বেশিও লাগবে না হিসাবটা তাদের ঠিকই থাকে তাই না यस স্যার ওকে লেটস সি অ্যানাদার টাইপ অফ ইন্টারভাল এস্টিমেশন দিস ইজ সামটাইমস দা ভ্যালু অ্যাকচুয়ালি দা এভারেজ উইল নট ওয়ার্ক এনিমোর এভারেজ এর কোনো কাজ হয় না লাইক ইন ইলেকশন In election, if I say I got average uh, say 500 votes, it will make no sense. Average cost of person vote by state is actually no cause nai. But we know we want to know uh, actually what percentage of vote he or she can get. Because cost of person by state is important. Cost of vote by state is important na. Around 50 percent is common vote by. That is why we have to check on average cost of matter. Kore na. Check on the key matter. Kore. আলোচনা করে দিচ্ছি we used to find we used to consider the percentage or ratio not the numbers in this case this is called the confused interval pro pro proportions or percentage or fraction clear in this case we will find uh, actually the interval for p p is the rate of success p is the rate of fraction p is the percentage and in this case you you have to find this interval Z alpha by 2 in the similar manner, but here you have to find Z alpha by 2. Now, you can ask me what is N, what, what is Y, what is N? Actually, there will be a population, but all of them are not involved in our work. You can only look at that, because you can see what you can do with your work. Involved with your work. You can see what you can do with your work. Involved with your work. No, sir. তাহলে অনলি আমরা তাদেরকেই নিব যারা কি করে আমাদের কাজের সাথে ইনভলভ যেমন মনে করে লেট আস কনসিডার ইন এ সার্টেন পপুলেশন देयर আর সে 10000 পিপল বাট डेफिनेटলি অল দা 10000 পিপল আর নট ভোটারস অনলি 7000 আর ভোটারস রাইট সো দ্যাট ইজ এন এন্ড সে আউট অফ দা 7000 ভোটার ইউ গট 4000 ভোটস in so they are in favor they will be y so total is not be considered the participant will be considered and the person the people who in our favor or favor in a work this y so this is n this is y then this is the required interval clear then we yes. have to find this this is called the confidence interval for proportion confidence interval for 
proportion proportion okay so let us try so we are going chapter 7.5 here sorry 7.3 That is exactly what I have said. N is the number of sample target sample, not all. Why is the number of samples in favor? Significance of one minus alpha. P is a required proportion. Then this is as well previous, but now this is the new interval. But you need to start from here. You you can just use this line. So okay, it's go to ready to talk about. So okay, last line to use for the whole day. What's the matter, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, let us start. We'll try to find this with an example. Look at this. In a forest, there are 800 plants under extinction. How many plants in total? 800 plants. 800 plants. But definitely, you cannot uh, do the work with everyone. That is, seventy percent of the plants are transferred. How many plants are transferred? Seventy percent only. So this seventy percent actually our target. And seventy-five percent of the transfer plants exist after the attempt. So seventy percent of eight hundred was five sixty, and the favorable sample that is which uh, uh, exists after the work is 75% of the transferred plants that is 420 so we need the factor ratio 0.75 uh, significance is given 0 0.10 you can see you have to find the confidence interval with 10% significance so the confidence is 90% we have to find this 0.95 you can see 0 0.95 would lie between 1.64 and 1.65. So we have taken 1.605. Also, you can take 1.65. No problem at all. Then put here. Please see the calculation carefully. Calculation term. এখানে তো ছোট করে দেখানো কিন্তু যখন আমরা কপি দিয়ে করব অবভিয়াসলি এটা আরো বড় ক্যালকুলেশন হবে না নো ইউ ক্যান ইউজ দ্য ক্যালকুলেটর নো প্রবলেম আর আচ্ছা আচ্ছা বিকজ দিস ম্যাথ উইল হ্যাভ থ্রি মার্কস এন্ড ইফ উই नीड সাম সর্ট অফ সে কমেন্ট দেন ইট উইল বি ফোর মার্কস সো ইফ চার মার্কস ইন তুমি এত বড় লিখবা Because, because after reading and finding this information will take some time. This is the most this important fact. Right? This is the most important fact. Right? Yes, sir. This is the vital part. Please look at the calculation. Then I will uh, discuss something about it. Okay, we can see the lower limit is 0.72. That is, the accuracy is minimum 72% and maximum 78%. Now, we can tell you to make the comment about the working process. A working process, you can comment on the working process. Okay, sir. এখন বিষয় হচ্ছে আমরা এখানে কখনো কোনো রেস্ট্রিকশন দিয়ে দিই ইফ আই সে ইউ হ্যাভ টু মিনিমাম সে देयर ইজ নো রেস্ট্রিকশন কোনো রেস্ট্রিকশন দেওয়া হয় নাই সো দিস ইজ মোর দ্যান বাট বোথ অফ দা ইন্টারভালস আর মোর দ্যান 50% সরি বোথ অফ দা লিমিটস আর মোর দ্যান 50% দেন উই ক্যান সে দিস প্রসেস ইজ এফেক্টিভ ইউ ক্যান সে হোয়াট দিস প্রসেস ইজ এফেক্টিভ এফেক্টিভ 
okay this is fine but if i say the minimum accuracy will consider 70% minimum 70% hoyte hobe tale to dute to both of them are more than 70% right yes sir so this is effective once again no problem but if i say minimum it should be accuracy 75% then you can see one is more than 70% another is less than 70% right then we will make a comment with some uh, in a mild voice some ask when it took mini you will the work it to less voice they will the it may be it might be effective it effective hote pare karon ekta jeto law limit e nichhe chole geche amra ekhane clear mane khub jore jor kore bolar kono sujog nai bujhte parocho yes sir if say we need 80% accuracy then what will happen we need 80% accuracy then not satisfied not satisfied satisfied or satisfied for that that is first you have to find this and according to the given condition you have to justify whether your process is uh, fulfilled the requirement or not so what amra jeta bolchi seta eta fulfill kore ki kore na seta amra tokhon justify korbo so here you have to do three things how many things three Three things. Number one, you have to find J delta y two. That is uh, the boundaries. J delta y two what? Boundaries, right? This there's two boundaries. Then you have to put the information here to find the interval. Let's do this interval. Then making a comment about your work. Okay. Now see to this class for few minutes. Then I will take that ones. I mean, some other quality work. So I will just simply clear for you. Okay. Mm, I'm going to stop the class. 
see them carefully and let me know in the next class okay, okay.